We just left our free BLM site in Tucson, Arizona to head to Yuma, Arizona to stay with Jenny's grandparents for a little while and visit with them. And while we were getting ready, Jenny was checking the tire pressure and she noticed that one of our tires was really low. It was at like 30 PSI and they're supposed to be at 50 PSI. So we were like, okay, first gas station we get to, we have to fill that up. We don't want to drive with the tire that low. Luckily, there's a gas station just a mile down the road and they have compressed air. All right, got that tire filled up back to 50 PSI. I checked it also, I just did a quick inspection to see if I could find anything that had punctured the tire and I couldn't, so I'm not sure why it would have ran out of air. Hopefully nothing punctured it and it just needed filled up and no issues, but we all know how that goes. <laughs> that tire's probably leaking and it's gonna be leaking forever, so. But we also need diesel before we go, so we're gonna fill that up too. Are you driving now? That's what I'm asking. You want to drive out of this gas station? Well, no, but you can pull around and then I can we can swap at the exit. Really? You want to drive through construction? No. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Let's get on the interstate first. All right. And then we'll switch. Okay. We got air? Yeah. Got diesel? Yeah. Good to go? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's go. Sweetie girl, you ready to go? Do you know where we're going? Do you know where we're going? We're gonna go see, sweetie, we're gonna go see great grandma and great grandpa. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's go, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Say woo. Good girl. Oh, the kitty got mad. Well, we're on the road again. <laughs> David and I have been here in Tucson for about two weeks and we love it here. There's so much to do, and we haven't even gotten to do everything. <laughs> but we've been here two weeks, and we have some family we want to go see, so we can't stay forever. I loved being so close to the Saguaro National Park, and there's a national forest nearby, and some state parks, just there's so much to do do here plus some historical things Tucson has been wonderful we we have thoroughly enjoyed our time here yeah I, I think we'll definitely be back to Tucson at some point in the future and it's weird that we've been here for two weeks being on the road now is weird because two weeks is kind of, in one spot is kind of a long time for us so being on the road again just feels kind of odd even though this is what we do <laughs> kind of got settled in in Tucson and yeah we could have stayed longer but we got family we want to go visit we're both really excited to visit Jenny's grandparents and stay with them for a little while it's gonna be nice seeing some family because this whole holiday season we've been without family you know Thanksgiving and Christmas the two like main holiday or family holidays it's just been me and Jenny so that that has been really hard, especially Christmas. Um, yeah. Jenny and I have spent, well, I've spent every Christmas of my life with my family, my parents and my brother, and Jenny has even been on, or in on Christmas with my family for... Eight or, uh, eight or nine. Eight or nine years, yeah. yeah. So not being with them through the holidays has been really hard. I, I got yeah. to Skype with them uh, after they had their like Christmas presents, you know, opening session. Uh, we Skyped and uh, I got to see my dad, my mom, and my brother. That was nice, but you know, it's just not the same as being there with them, uh, you know, just getting to spend that time with them and hugging them, you know, and I, I really miss my family. And that is like the biggest downside to full-time RVing and full-time traveling for us is just not getting that family time. 
in the future though, we've talked about it, in the future, we're gonna do something about that though. We're not sure what, but um, we wanna be with family. Yeah, we're gonna make sure. Um, this was a nice experience, especially since, you know, um, hitting the road we knew, and we still know that we don't have forever to be on the road. So, um, at least right now. So we wanted to make sure that we were on the road, even if that meant not having holidays with our family. But it, it's been so hard not being able to spend the holidays with our family, whether, whether it's my side of the family or David's side of the family, it's been so hard that we don't want to do it again. <laughs> yeah, the issue is money. You it know, it's, it's expensive to drive this rig. Uh, and it's not just diesel, it's everything, you know, the, the tires, the brakes, oil changes, transmission fluid. Diesel is obvious, or definitely the most expensive, but, you know, we're over 2,000 miles away from Fort Wayne, Indiana. So to drive all the way back home for the holidays, oh, expensive. And, and it's just not something we can pull right now. Yeah. But we've, we think in the future we may be able to plan to be in certain areas so that we don't have to cross the country for the holidays. Um, we're we're going to do something about it though. Uh, we're not sure what, but we're going to figure something out. This is going to be the first time since hitting the road that we get to visit my side of the family. Yeah. <laughs> I am incredibly excited because I love my grandma and grandpa. They are so cool and they are one of the main reasons why I think that I love exploring and adventuring and learning new things so much because every time we would visit them as kids, my brother and I, they would take us to cool places and we'd go see cool things. And I'm just really excited to get to spend time with my grandma and grandpa. While staying in Yuma, we are actually going to be staying on my grandma and grandpa's property. So any of you that are also subscribed to our second channel, Unbound Campsite Reviews, there isn't going to be a video probably until about February sometime around there. I do apologize for the lack of videos on that channel as we are not going to be staying somewhere that I can review. Yeah, I don't think your grandparents would really like it if we reviewed <laughs> their, uh, their, their backyard their or backyard. whatever, wherever. <laughs> I don't know what we're saying, but yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that'll fly. So um, I do apologize for lack of videos on that channel. Um, we will get back to reviewing places that we're staying yeah. once we leave Yuma though. Yeah, and we're gonna be going to some cool places. Yes. Since we're out in the West, we're gonna be in California, Nevada, Oregon, Washington. Yes. We're, yeah, state parks, national parks, national forests, BLM land, that's all to come in the future. We're really excited. Spring and summer's gonna be awesome. Yes, I'm very excited. Yeah. We may even stay on a beach. Yeah, I think that I think some beach camping is in our future. But West Coast beaches, especially in Oregon, I'm pretty sure aren't as sandy. It's more like little pebbles. We'll find out. I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> First hand, we'll see. And you'll see. Yeah, you'll see. We'll yeah. see. We'll see. We'll They'll see and see. you'll see. That's what you'll see. Yeah. <laughs> We've been driving for a little bit, so we decided to stop and let the animals kind of stretch out, go potty, and get some lunch. And Jenny is inside making us a delicious lunch right now, too. And all it is is two hard-boiled eggs. Uh, well, so for for two people, I did four hard-boiled eggs, a whole tomato, and a whole avocado, and split it between the two with some salt and pepper. That's it. Delicious. Super simple, super delicious, and very healthy. Work done because we're a little behind. Yep. So you, 
You gonna work? Yeah, I should probably get to work then. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that long of a drive. Yeah. So you better get to work. I'm going. We're talking. Okay, bye. Bye. Well, we're almost to Yuma, so we're switching drivers. Jenny drove the majority of the way here so that I could get some video editing done, but we're almost to Yuma, so we're gonna go ahead and switch, and I'm gonna drive the rest of the way. We finally made it here to Yuma, Arizona to spend time with my grandma and grandpa. And after visiting with them for, I don't know, a couple hours just after getting here, yeah. we're gonna go have some dinner and spend the night playing some games with them. You're, yeah? not, you're not gonna make me play Rummy Cube, are you? Of course I am. <sighs> this girl loves Rummy Cube and apparently her grandparents have and also love Rummy Cube. Uh, Who do you think taught it to me? They did, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we've been here for a couple hours already, getting the RV all set up and just hanging out with her grandparents and yeah, we're already having a good time. Yeah, these are a couple really good people and we're going to have fun here. They've already talked about some of the things we're going to do. Um, you know, they're going to show us around the area, show us some cool stuff. Uh, petroglyphs yep. is one thing we're going to do and uh, they've got a cool side by side that I'm sure we're going to take out uh, into the desert and other things. But it's Other gonna. Uh, well, I don't. I don't know what they have planned, but I'm sure they've got a bunch of stuff planned. We're gonna go ahead and call it a night, and eat some dinner that Jenny's grandma is preparing. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be good. Yep. So if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want more videos from us, go ahead and subscribe because our journey is just beginning. And if you want more details on this video, go ahead and check out the blog post and link below. Catch you guys later.